Hi friends, Miss Anna here. Today, I would like to read you this book. It's called What Am I? And it's published by Sterling Publishing Company. I sleep all day, I fly all night, searching for food in the moonlight. What am I? An owl! In the ocean, in the pond, or even in the lake, we wiggle, flip, and swim. It's a piece of cake. What are we? Fish! I live on the beach and hide in the sand. I have two big claws that I use as my hands. What am I? A crab! Among rocks and weeds, we bob up and down on the ocean floor like a merry-go-round. What are we? Seahorses! We slither through the ocean just like snakes, but we are really fish, make no mistake. What are we? Eels! You might hear us in the morning. We burst into song. You know the tune. Come sing along. What are we? Birds. When the cat isn't home, we do as we please, searching all around for pieces of cheese. What are we? Mice. We find a flat rock bathed in sunlight and coil ourselves up with a hiss of delight. What are we? Snakes! Carrying our homes is no easy to do. If you had to do it, you'd walk slowly too. What are we? Turtles! With the wind under our wings, up out of the trees we fly. Like kings of the clouds, we soar through the sky. What are we? Eagles. Hello there. Remember me? I'm the owl. Can't you see? It's time for bed, so I must go. And so must we all. Don't you know? The end. Now that we read this book, I would like to invite you for a little movement break to do some exercises that are inspired by some of the animals in this book. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, so our first exercise we're going to do together is called cobra, which is a type of snake. And to do cobra, you're going to go flat on your belly and you're going to extend your legs out and you're going to place your feet on the floor. And then you bring your palms and your fingers right under your shoulders here. And then you're going to lower your head all the way to the floor first. And then from the floor, you're going to start lifting slowly, slowly. As you push in your palms, you're going to lift your head, your shoulders, your chest, your neck, your chin. And you're going to look up at the sky. You're going to spend looking up for five, four, three, two and one and slowly slowly you're going to start lowering your shoulders your neck your chin your head back down until your forehead reaches the floor and now from cobra you're going to become owls so you're going to start pushing yourself back sitting upright on your legs here and as you sit comfortably. First you're going to place your palms and your fingers on your legs and you're going to just gently tap your legs a couple times here. And then when you're done tapping, you're going to roll one shoulder back and then the other shoulder back so you're more comfortable sitting here. Then you're going to start pushing your hands up and your legs up and your bum up as you go upright. And perhaps you either have your hands on the sides here, like an owl with the wings closed, or maybe you even bring your arms out, kind of like a triangle, and then you look up, 
and you look down, and you look to the right, and you look to the left, and then you look straight, and then you say, woo, woo, like an owl. And then slowly, you're going to start bringing your palms and fingers back on your thighs as you bring your bum back sitting on your legs. Good job being an owl. And now, instead of owls, we're going to become crabs. So to become a crab, you're going to sit on your bottom like this. And you're going to roll back all the way on the floor. And you're going to plant your feet firmly into the floor. And you're going to bring your fingers and your palms right where your elbows were. Kind of sitting upright like this. And then from here, you're going to lift your bottom up in a moment. And you're going to look up and pull it a little bit back with your head as you're bringing your bottom up. So ready? We're going to go slowly up. Look back. And we're going to be here for five, four. Three, two, and one. Then slowly start bringing your bottom back on the mat. And maybe give yourself a little hug here for being such a great crab. Okay, so you've done a great job being a cobra, an owl, and a crab. So now we're going to go and become a bird. So you're going to push yourself up. You're going to stand as tall as you can first. Putting your hands on your sides. Okay, and from here, you're going to lift your right knee up. And you're going to pretend that you're stepping on an imaginary wall back there. And you're going to balance here on one foot. And maybe you take your hands that are your wings now. And you're going to send them along the sides. And maybe you look down or slightly look up. You're going to spend here for five, four, three, two, and one. And you're going to bring your foot slowly, slowly, slowly back on the floor. And you're going to straighten yourself up again. And this time, you're going to bring your left knee up, cover, and then you're going to pretend that you're stepping on the wall, imaginary wall there. And maybe you're going to send your hands parallel to the floor, back, out. And we're going to spend a moment here for five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly, 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 you're going to bring your foot down. Okay. And we just did a bird. So why don't we get a little bit more specific and this time do an eagle which is a type of a bird, a large bird. So we first, we're gonna play with our arms and we're gonna do an eagle arms. So you're gonna take your right hand and your left hand. You take your right hand as you're gonna bring it under your left hand. And then you're gonna try to twist them one more time, try to touch your palms as one hand is under the other. I'm going to spend a moment here looking at how wrapped your hands can be. And then, you're going to take your right leg, lift your knee up again, and this time, instead of going back, you're going to go over your left foot and you place it here. You're spending your time here for five, four, three, two, and one. And then you untangle your feet first, your legs first, and then you untangle your arms and you open your hands as wide as you can. And now we're going to go to the other side. So you're going to take your other hand, in my case it was a left one, and it's going to go under the right one. And then as they wrap, I'm going to try to touch my palms again here. And this time I'm going to take my left knee up into the air and then cross it over my right knee, my right leg. I'm gonna spend a moment here for five, four, three, two, and one. And then I'm gonna unwrap my legs and unwrap my arms. And one more time, I'm opening up as if I'm soaring in the sky. Okay, good job. Give yourself a round of applause. You did great.